over to the analyst desk where they're gonna take a look at Giants come from behind victory. Thank you so much, Pyrotechnics. We're joined here by Adri and Pepe Pepe Nero on that Ezreal. What a game once again. So we have to pick your brain on the pick because you're the only person that has actually ran it so far in the EU LCS. Let's start with maybe the hard part about mm. the Ezreal mid. How do you overcome your weak early game? I think with the smite purple, you can smite the cams and you go more sustained, I think. And with the cookies, it's very easy. The problem is for farm, I think. The problem is for farm. So yeah. how do you make sure now two games in a row that you get to the point where you're stronger and how strong do you think it actually is? I think with the Ludens and, and the Eaten Jungle, but you need the cooldown reduction boats because you don't buy reduction cooldown. Yeah? Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> certainly <laughs> it seems effective once you get the two items. Yeah. Audrey, uh, turning focus to the AD carry role, two games this week we've seen you build slightly more defensively. Has your role on Giants slightly changed with the Ezreal mid? Mm. Maybe it does because, like, when we have Ezreal mid, it's our main power of damage. So I have to like try to survive and not uh, be useless. <laughs> but anyways, like this game in particular, it was just they had so much AD damage. Building armor was actually more effective than building damage, so it had nothing to do with it. Yeah, you guys, did you want to say something? Never. No, no, no. Okay. Um, indeed, building armor later on was very effective, but you guys were trailing behind for a big part until El Bandido came in once again. We want to get that replay up on the screen. And just tell me what went through your mind. Um, at this point, do you know that there's an 80% chance that <laughs> Frederick is going to steal it? We can roll the clip. Adri, go ahead. Yeah, actually, we're not expecting the Nash to be in our favor. We're just saying, okay, clean up after they get Nash and kill everybody. But surprisingly, Frederick managed to steal it against Kalista and Smite, so it's pretty weird. But that, after that, like the fight went just as we expected. We Ooh. picked that up and got a bunch of kills. A bunch of kills indeed. Very well played by Frederick for using his ult to knock away to Kalista. Yes, certainly. And uh, you can see the Candy Panda maybe thrown a little bit off balance uh, with the, the Ren timing. Very similar to yesterday's game, where Fnatic at Baron gave you guys a fight uh, and you guys started a, a comeback. How confident do you feel with playing from behind in those situations? Mm. In this game in particular, I don't think we were that behind. We were just waiting for our power spikes every time. We were like, okay, wait, I need 500 gold, I need 700, I need whatever. And as soon as we got our items, we knew we were stronger, even though we were behind in kills and in gold, because our champions scaled better. So like, we never felt like we were really behind. Um, on that token, you never feel like you're really behind, but it does look like that, like a battle from behind. Why do you think that you are the only mid laner that has gone for the AP or the Rune Glaive Ezreal rather so far here? Please. 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 Yeah, he's saying that, in his opinion, he's the best poke champion in his tier 1 in mid lane, and that's how we feel in the rest of the team, so we don't really know why any other teams have picked it yet. So I mentioned, I heard them mentioning Zerath and Kog'Maw, but what about the likes of a Jace or a Varus? Do you also yeah. think that they're above that? Yeah. I think there's the ulti. All right, up to Pepe Nero, Ezreal with the ulti is the strongest. Well, you definitely showed it. Great victory. Congratulations, Thank you guys. You. Thank you. All right, we need to step away, but when we return, Gambit will go up against Rocket as they try to fight their way into the middle of the standings. And during the break, head over to lolesports.com to read about the game Gambit took when they brought Betsy back to the mid lane. The European LCS will continue right after this. Okay, Re remember, if we reach late, stay coordinated and follow the calls while we're going. Good luck. Oh, healed up. In comes Freddy to finish it off. Hyperkinetic position cancellation. And Frederick gets a shot blast to the back of the head. Nice. Oh. Here we go. Jace, Jace, Jace. Jace, Jace, Jace. Kill Jace. Kalista, if possible. Kalista, if possible. Kalista, Kalista, Kalista. Kalista, Kalista. Nice, guys. Yes. Keep going, keep going. I have exhaust, I have exhaust. Warlib. Everyone is blinking. True shot Ooh. barrage barely takes down Freddy and Fox. Oh, 
oh so close. Pepe gets away as Audrey takes the kill. Fates call though, and raided into the rest of the team. Fox picks up Godfrey. Frederick Whirlin going low. Pepe, he's going down, but the Gragas is on it. Can he finish it up? Hey, Frederick. Frederick with the taunt. Frederick, he got it. 43 minutes in. Giants Gaming are victorious.